All right, so here I started recording. So the first step we have to do on this thing is uh, let me zoom in so you guys see my, my window here bigger. Uh, and going over the instructions, it says set up a network topology, add three generic PCs, uh, connect each PC to an ethernet port to the wireless router using the straight through cable. So that's a step number one. Let's go ahead and do step number one, okay. And one thing that I that I must show you here is where the end devices are. They're right here on this little thing. Now on the uh, on the um, on the mobile application is different because you just tap and they come up. Okay. And they come up like on a circle, like on a round, uh, like roulette type of circle, <laughs> and you just pick the one you want. So it makes it easier then. So once I click on that, all this is going to change. And he's gonna give me the PCs, laptops, servers, all kinds of end devices. I need three PCs, so I'm gonna grab one, two, three PCs, and then the same thing on a step number one. It says to um to get to connect them. So here's the connections with a straight through. This is straight through. How do I know? Because it says right there when I'm hovering over it, it tells me that what it is. Just so you guys see it right here. See. Um, so it tells me that, uh, shit right here. Hmm? Que paso? She's waiting for me to. back to this other window here. Okay, so this is the window of the uh, instructions and the progress that I'm doing when I'm doing this. And uh, and usually the progress is set to, um, to zero when you start. So as you go, look at right here, my completion progress percentage is zero right now because I haven't done anything. Right. I understand that. So I have to switch back to the window here and now I'm back over here. So as I click on these things, they change to that. So I'm gonna do the connections, but my connections are right here. So I'm looking for that straight through. And then I'm gonna start with the PC zero. And it only has one fast ethernet. So I'm gonna connect it to that. And here it has four. So you can connect for up to four computers with a wire. So ethernet one is the first available. On the second one, fast ethernet zero, ethernet two, Fast Ethernet and Ethernet 2. So there you go. And then we have to wait till this amber lights, orange lights, amber, need to turn into green. You can wait or you can just click right here, this arrow, look at that will make it go faster. See? Notice how they change now to green, that means I have connectivity. That's what that, that's what that means. That I'm now connected to it. All right, so the next thing I need to do now is, uh, uh, let me go back to the instructions here and switch the instructions so you guys see. So I completed this number one and number two, which says observe the amber lights turn. They turn on already the green, so I'm good. Now I have to click, this is step two now, click on PC zero, desktop, IP configuration and select the HCP to receive an IP address from the uh, DHCP enabled router. Record the IP address of the default gateways because I'm gonna need it. Close the IP configuration window and open the web browser. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna switch back here. For matter of the, of the um, recording, I have to be switching. So right here, I'm gonna click on PC zero. And this windows, I cannot make them any bigger, okay? So it's, that's it. So I go to desktop, IP configuration, and it says to change from static to DHCP. And notice there is no IP address. When I switch here, it's gonna um, it's gonna give me an IP address automatically. There it is. It says to record the uh, default gateway. Look at the default gateway. It's 192.168.0.1. Okay. I, I I memorize that. I'm gonna close this window right here, not over here, but here. Oh, you guys can see it. I have to shoot to share that too. I forgot. 
All right, so I, I switched from a static to DHCP. And he gave me an IP address. And it says to record this 192.168.0.1. All right, I'm not gonna record it. I'm just gonna memorize it or remember it. Zero and one are the last two numbers that I need to remember. So I'm gonna close that. Go to the web browser now. And if you notice, uh, uh, my, my percentage went up already to 11% when I did the connections. Let me just show that so you guys see it. See, my, my um, percentage went up 11% right here. So I'm getting there, you know, I'm getting there. So going back to my window of the wild browser, here it is. They want me to type the uh, get the full gateway, which was 192, 168, that's, was it zero, that one? Just make sure. Yeah, I think that's what it was. And I'm gonna go. And immediately I get a window that's asking me for my username and, and uh, password. Uh, on the instruction says it's admin, lowercase, and admin, lowercase. It's the same for the username and for the password. I mean, I click, click OK, and I'm now, I'm in the, I'm in the router. I access the router, okay? So now on the router, as I go to step number three, it says, uh, let me switch to the steps so you guys see the steps uh, along with me. Step number three says, change the default IP address to the wireless router. Within the uh, router IP setting section, change the IP address 192.168.5.1. So I'm gonna, I need to change the IP address. Save the settings. And look at what it says, um, that when it's done correctly, the web page will display an error message. We're gonna close the browser and immediately go to the IP configuration again on the PC0 and, and do the same thing again. Click on the static and DCHP and to receive a new IP address. Why? Because I changed the, uh, the router's IP. So here we go, look at, instead of a zero, they want us to change it to five. There it is, I just changed it and it says save to continue. So I'm gonna save it way at the bottom, save settings. And if that is correctly, I'm gonna get up an error on the page. Oh shoot, let me switch. Keep forgetting about the switching of the stupid windows. Here it is, request timeout. So I I, I got an error after I saved it. Why? Because because I, I changed the, uh, the router's IP address. It's no longer 192.168.0.1. I changed it to well, to uh, 192.168.5.1. So I'm no longer connected to it. That's what it means. You know, I, I time out, I, it's no longer there. So I have to close it, go back to the IP configuration, change it back to static, and then DHCP to get a new IP address. And on the new IP address, look at, I have the new, the new IP address that I, that I switched to, the one I selected. I don't know if you can barely see it here, but, it, but it's right here. See the, the new, uh, the full gateway. This is the one I'm gonna use to access the, uh, the, the, the router again. So I'm gonna close this. Let me just clear the, the little circle there. Go back to web browser and type in the new IP address for the router, which is 192.168.5.1. And I'm back again, encounter the um, admin, admin username and password. I mean, again, see, I completed step number three. Now step number four, and, and as I switch to the, to the window of the, of the progress of this thing, notice that I have, um, 33% now, so it's getting there. You know, it goes slide, it's slowly, it's slowly, but it, but it gets there. So, so here, completion is 33%. So I'm one third percentage of, the, of this thing being completed. So I completed number three, changed the IP address of the wireless router, I did. So now I'm not ready for number four. Look at what you need to do in number four. Change the default DHCP range of addresses. So, it, it, and we're gonna change it to, from five to 100 to, to 192, 168, 526. So we're gonna change them. 
and we're gonna give it 75 instead of 50. Right now it's set to 50. So let me switch to that window and show you, okay? Uh, hold on to your questions right now while, while I'm completing this. Uh, so I'm gonna scroll down. This is what they're talking about, look at class. If you notice here carefully, look at it. It says the starting IP address is 192.168.5.100. And it says it's number of uh, users, 50. All right, they want us to change that. Oh, switch to the stupid window. I keep forgetting, sorry guys. There. <laughs> I keep forgetting uh, about that. So right here, look at this is what they're talking about. Starting IP address is uh, 192.168.5.100. We need to change that. And also number of uh, maximum of users, 50. We need to change that to 75. Remember I told you one day that you can do those things on the router, you can, sh you can set how many people can connect to it. Well, this is where you do it. And this is how you do it exactly. So now let me go ahead and, and, and change this. They want us to change um, from 192, 168.5.26, uh, 100 to 26. So I'm gonna change this to 26 and 50 to 75. So those two changes, okay? And then save it, it says. Save and continue. So I'm gonna go down, save, save settings, and then continue. Because I didn't, you notice that I didn't get disconnected. Why? Because I didn't change the 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 the, the um, IP address of the of the router. I only changed the range. See, I only changed the range of IP addresses available. So now the first IP address is going to be 26 or 27, I think. No, actually 26 and 27. Okay, because this is the other ones. So now look at what's gonna happen right now. All right, so switching back to the instructions and just to see the percentage uh, also. Look at my percentage is going way, way up there. See, now I have it 55%. I'm almost there. I'm almost what, 50, 50 something percent, 55%, <laughs> that's what it is. So I'm almost uh, half halfway done. All right, so I'm in the step number six now, or five. Select command prompt, enter IP config, and record the IP address for PC0. Okay, so what, we're gonna see what is the IP address for PC0, okay? Um, and then number five, click on PC1, select desktop tab, select IP configuration, and we're gonna enable DHCP on PC1 and on PC2. And that should complete the, the 100%. Uh, the last thing is just to run that IP configuration, IP config. So let me close this. Before I leave this, they want us to go to IP config. So I'm gonna type IP config and then enter. My IP address here is uh, 5100, 192, 168, 5100. So that's the IP address that I have, okay? So I'm gonna close this. I know I just forget to, so let me do it again, command prompt. And here's the IP address that is showing me. Okay, so it's very small. You can barely see it here. It's 192.168.5.100. That is my IP address for PC0. So I'm gonna close it. And then uh, let me um, switch back to the, back to this. So I'm done with the PC0. Next thing, in PC1 and PC2, all I have to do is get an IP address. So I'm gonna go to PC1. Let me switch it really quick. All right guys, I just wanna finish this really quick and, and, then, uh, and then I'll answer all your questions. So I'm going to desktop, IP configuration. And see notice that it doesn't have an IP address. All I need to do is get an IP address. So I'm gonna switch to DHCP Wait for it, and there's the IP address. Look at 26, the first available one. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna close it. And then switch to the other one. I don't wanna close it because it's gonna exit this thing. So let me go right here again. And then now go to PC2. Do exactly the same thing. 
desktop, IP configuration, static to DHCP server. Wait for the IP addresses, there they are, this is 27. So I'm gonna close it. And then from this one, from PC2, let me show you, oops, did I show this window or not? Yeah, so I went to IP configuration and it gave me the new IP address. It's the 27 you see here. It says to close it, but it stay on this window because I'm gonna run the, the command prompt. And at this point, basically I'm done with it. I just need to run the uh, test for connectivity. So they want me to ping the router, so I'm gonna go ping 192.168. What was it? 5.1. Uh, waiting for the re reply, so the the router is replying. It's good. And also they want me to ping the uh, PC 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 one. So it's one again. Ping 192.168. What was it? 5.26. The first available IP address. Uh, and it's pinging. So that should be completed, right? And that completes me, my, 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 um, uh, my percentage here. Let me just show you really quick here. Um, you see the percentage right here to see it to a hundred percent. So that means I, I'm already done with the, the, uh, the activity. So that's all you have to do. Okay, let me stop the recording here and then uh, stop recording.